briefly and to the point. Let's start today's overview with Kherson, the reaction we first counterfighting continues on the left bank of the Dnieper in the area of Krynki. Nevertheless, despite the intensity, the front line hasn't changed here. Zaporozhye direction. Here, on the Arekhov sector of the front, Russian forces slightly expanded the control zone to the east of Novopokrovka. In the meantime, on the Velika Novoselka sector of the front, Russian troops advanced deep into Rozhain and Stermayorske, and Ukrainian forces recaptured several previously lost positions to the west of the settlement. As for the sector of the front between the Dnieper and Arekhov, here there were positional battles. Vuhlidar direction. Here, as a result of a successful attack, Russian troops regained control of positions southwest of Salotka that they had lost earlier. Marinka direction. Here, Russian forces advanced a little deeper into Georgievka as well as advanced deep into Krasnogorovka from both the south and the east, taking control of a significant part of the city. Avdeevka direction. Here, Russian troops advanced farther towards Yasnabrodovka and entered Umanska, taking a significant part of it. Also, they expanded the control area north of Ochiretina. In addition, a little to the south, Russian forces advanced deep into Nitailov and took several more Ukrainian positions south of Pirvomaiske. In turn, Ukrainian troops recaptured several previously lost positions east of Novopokrovske. Toretsk direction. Here there were positional battles without any particular results for both sides. Bakhmut direction. Here Russian forces took several Ukrainian strongholds west of Ivanovska and advanced a little farther east of Chasafyar. Seversk direction. Here Russian troops significantly expanded the control zone to the south and southeast of Vimka. Svatova direction. Here Russian forces took several more Ukrainian positions south of Novoselovska. Kupensk direction. Here Ukrainian troops are still successfully holding the defense. And finally, Kharkov direction. Here, Russian forces continued to conduct active offensive actions both towards Kharkov itself and to the Vovchansk sector of the front. Fighting for the city has already begun, but the main events are still ahead, since the sides haven't put their reserves into the battle yet. Nevertheless, to date, Russian troops have managed to take control of 10 settlements. And that's all for today. Subscribe to the channel, here you will hear the truth.